people who are blind. And then when you go all the way to... I'm <laughs> 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 sorry, but that was literally what I was thinking because it's it, they were like whatever that thing was was contacting you through your eyes, right? Yeah. So obviously. Imagine we didn't start it. <laughs> no, we took for two hours. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I got relaxed. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna start. We can never do this again. Never. What did you YouTube's go, Genesis? And this is the Black Nipson Podcast. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. And if you don't want to see our faces, our link to our Spotify will be in the link in the description. Make sure you follow all our socials at Black Nipson Podcast. And if you read the title, you know that we're talking about movies. And if you know me, you know I love movies. I love to watch them. I, love, I just, I can go a whole day just straight up watching movies. I learned so much from them. I get all my culture from them. And we have a special guest here who probably loves movies way more than me. And his name is Yaskar Rodriguez. <laughs> You say it with so much emphasis. <laughs> right, Yaskar. Hi, I'm Yaskar. I like movies. <laughs> Is that <laughs> it? I, I like movies. I, I don't know what I was supposed to say. Um, I love movies a lot. I love movies. Um, ever since I was a kid, um, I go to a film school. So um, I've just I've always been really interested in the process of filmmaking. In fact, I am working on a documentary right now. And I'd say, hey, if you guys are watching this and you know any police officers, judges, or anyone in the field of criminal justice, hit me up at hi on Michael. But Michael spelled wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> but at hi on Michael, you can text me on Instagram, like, um I I'm I'm working on this thing, it's gonna be really cool. And uh yeah, aspiring filmmaker, Oscar. Yep, everyone go check him out. Well do his socials be in the link in the description too. Yeah. Okay, just to start us off. What is you guys' favorite movie? If do you want Chidalu, since you're like Chidalu <laughs> doesn't watch movies like us. No, I do watch movies, but like not. She's that not type. like a she's not like a, like a fan girl. Like she doesn't watch movies like us. No, I I do love movies. It's just like we like different genres. Let's just be honest. What's your favorite genre? It's just even no. No, 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 no. The thing, the thing <laughs> is, it's like not even a genre. It's just like the type of people that would watch it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you guys understand what I'm saying. I don't. I don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite movie? That's okay. that's what I asked. This is an easy question. <laughs> My favorite movie is Hercules. I love it because the music, like, it just it's like a gospel vibe, even yeah. though it's like not a gospel type of movie, which yeah. I like. And it's big. It's like I don't know how to describe. Y'all just watch the movie. It's on Disney Plus, probably. It's a decent movie. I used to have the VHS tape of that movie because I was so oh, broke. VHS! I was so broke. Yes. I had yeah. I had a I had a VHS TV and I had VHS yeah, tape. Yeah, me I, too. Oh, I, so we all did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but um, I watched Hercules a lot. I don't remember the songs that well. I remember a couple of them, Hercules, but Hercules, Hercules. No, yeah. I don't remember the songs. Wow. I watched wow. it. I watched it twice. One when I was like a like twice. a twice. How can and you watch, watch it twice? You need to watch it like five times. Yeah. So I, exactly. But <laughs> it was good. Like I actually really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna watch it again. It's, it's good. better than my <clears throat> TV. It's pretty good. It, it's we had no music. Because it's not- It had well, it's, 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 it's not had one It's song. a rat that can cook. Exactly. Why do you want a rat in the kitchen? That? When have you ever seen that? Like, no! Why have you seen that? We're That's already, like original. We're already getting mad. <laughs> That's <laughs> <It's> original. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, I like Ragged It does have a song, though. It has a French song. It was on TikTok, remember? Oh! Exactly. As well, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I like that song a lot, actually. That's My, like, I didn't know it was on that too. My favorite movie has to be Wally. That's just like a classic. Wally, you can't go wrong. I mean, it's not a classic. It, I mean, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I you mean, can't go wrong with it. Like, it's just, just Wally. So it gives. It's comedy. It's comedy. Yeah, it gives. Like, it's funny. It's hilarious. When is it funny? Literally, are you? Are you bad? <laughs> First of all, like the best character was the cockroach. And the, no, the cockroach. That guy was indestructible. <laughs> also, it gives you rom. Uh, like it's um, romantic. It gives you love if you need that. With robots. Yes, and also drama. The big fight that happened when everyone just like all the dysfunctional uh, machines got out. Like everyone was fighting each other. Actually, I don't remember this. And it actually, it's like it's like 
um life imitating art like it showed everyone that was like everyone became super fat they couldn't even walk because we were so addicted to our screens and food i thought that was the second movie there was only one. There's only one? That's only all in one? They, yeah. That's only good one. I mean, they only needed one. I get how you can feel that way because the first half and the second half are so different. Yeah. I, I actually feel the opposite because I actually really do love Wally, but I mainly like the first half when there's no dialogue. Like, that's yeah. my favorite part. When, when, when Evie and Wally, like, first met. Yeah, and they're, they're, oh. they're building this relationship, and, like, you actually feel sympathy for both of them, and yeah. neither of them can talk. They can only say their names. It's like crazy so how you can make a love. Well, he could say Eve, Eva, Eva, Eva. Eva. My yeah. fault. I haven't watched but like, it in yeah, a long you, time. It, it's so amazing how you can make a whole love story with no dialogue. It's but and, and, robots. Yeah, and then there's the beautiful music too. There's those scenes where Wally's playing with the old tapes and stuff, and like all that. That's super. The cute. first, the first half of the movie is so good, and the second half to me is just kind of okay. It's just like. It gets really like Disney, -y, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, but I still the, that first half carries the movie for me personally. I love that first half. It's so good. Okay, okay so what's um, your favorite movie? I'm not sure if you guys heard of it. I mean, it's a popular movie, but you guys aren't really into movies like uh, the kind of movies that I like. Yeah. But my favorite movie is Fight Club. Oh, it, I I've heard, I've heard of it. Uh, yeah, really I couldn't good. watch. Like, I, I could, but like I don't have. To. It's a great movie. It was made in 1999 by David Fincher. David Fincher, I think he's really overrated, but Fight Club is really, really good, man. Yeah, like, what is it about? It's basically it's about Fight Club. It's 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 a, obviously it's about pe like guys who start <laughs> right. a, they start a fight club, but it's, it, it when you get deeper down to it, it's it's a movie about masculinity and like what our society does to men and what makes them do bad things. Like, the, the whole point of the movie is that men, these men feel insecure about their own masculinity. So they need to, like, fight each other and feel pain to feel like men. And it's, it, yeah. it, it, it dies really deep into, like, the psyche of a man. And, and I could relate to it a lot. You know, I saw it at, like, the perfect time. So, like, you know, as I was growing up. So it, it, I, it did kind of help me develop as a person. Also, it made me want to shave my head. Oh, uh, if you guys remember, in, in freshman year when I shaved my head. Was it yeah. freshman year? Yeah, it was freshman year. Yo, you did some weird shit. I'm not gonna lie. I've had so many hairstyles, but yeah, <laughs> oh. I shaved my head. I shaved my head because of Fight Club. Like, oh I just, God. I felt like doing that. Literally, after I saw that movie, like, a week later, I'm like, yo, like, shave my head. Oh. I went to the barber, like, yo, give me a one. Just shave it all off. <laughs> give me a one. <laughs> <laughs> give me a one. I just told him, give, he, I told him, give me a one. He's like, on the side, no, one all over it. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, and then I, I, everyone was slapping my head for a week. <laughs> I really don't remember this. I mean, I remember, I remember you did, you did so many things to your hair. I that it's like, I've, yeah. you dyed it blonde or, I dyed blonde it, or pink? I, I dyed know. it blonde. I always said I was going to dye it pink, but oh, I Oh, yeah, you did. never did. But I, di I dyed it blonde three times. I had a ponytail. Yeah. I've had straight hair. I've was had that curly grade? hair. That was in eighth grade. I had the ponytail. I had the ponytail for a few months. So yeah, where I remember that. Where was that? And uh, right you now, I just in seventh grade, you were in Africa. I mean, yeah, I know, yeah, right? I, I know <laughs> that. <laughs> you were out of the country. <laughs> I mean, I know that. But like, I was here in eighth grade. He's talking about a ponytail. Where was that? You know, I had the ponytail for like a good like. Well, you were you were in my class in eighth grade, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, had, I had it for like seven months. It was like my seven. one characteristic for like all of eighth grade, and <laughs> well, then I cut it off and I just had the. I curly really hair. do not remember this. Yeah, I, don't I just remember walking in in sixth grade, and then you're like, "Hey, chill, you want to show me? I want to show you something." And then you remove your hat. Oh, and that's, I was like, that's <laughs> how I. Yeah, I was like, "Guys, what's he doing?" And I just took it off. I my hair. It. But it was mad funny. Like, imagine like walking in like seven a.m. in the morning, and then you already just started some shit. Like, it was mad funny. I wish I showed you. I have pictures on my phone. Oh my god, from me in eighth, uh, not eighth grade, like seventh grade around that time. I dyed my hair again in the summer. And I, I took all these pictures trying to look like a like a like an emo boy, and oh my oh, god, god. it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but like I'm not gonna lie, I look good in them. But like I, it was it was a phase. Like I don't want to dye my I dyed my hair again in a uh, freshman year. I just did the tips, but that only that, I only had that for like. Three oh months. okay, I remember that one. Yeah, I just had, but it looked kind of bad because whenever it would get hot, like my hair would get like greasy, greasy, yeah. and and the blonde just made it like extra greasy. So. Right after I, I had my tips uh, blonde, and I'm just like, I shaved it. Just shaved it off. Just shaved it's it off. Better. Yeah, okay. exactly. And then ever since then, I've just had normal curly hair. It's really messy, but I like it messy. My whole my whole style is just, I look like a bum. And I like yeah. that. Yeah. 
But like now we can't even get to like this. What is the greatest movie? All like of all time. Like you can't even say like, oh, this is your favorite. Or like, like what is of oh, like the greatest movie? Like the best movie? Like this movie is like you have to top tier. Out. You have to list that out. For me. <laughs> No, like you, I, I can't. I can't, can't tell I can't. you. You have to like uh, speak for yourself. Like your favorite movie, yeah, that's your favorite movie because yeah, you like the music or whatever. Like this is like the greatest movie of all time. Like nothing's coming close to this movie. That's difficult. Well, I mean, you, the greatest movie ever. It still has a lot of great ones right behind it. You know, there's no movie that's so much better than everything else. Yeah. But I guess when you mean by greatest, I'm I'm taking it as like most influential. Yeah, definitely. And because I can only speak on my preference. But in terms of, I guess, saying that's, like, influential, what well, depends, because movies change all the time. Like, yeah. movies from every decade are so different. Like, right now, movies are very going down, like, the indie <laughs> route. They're very... I mean, there's blockbusters, obviously. There's, like, Marvel movies and stuff. But, like, also, like, the indie movie scene is super booming now. So, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's pretty difficult, I guess. By what standard? You know, like by what criteria the right. greatest movie ever? It's <laughs> a hard like, question. It's like, like what, team. like what movie? Like if this movie was like never released, like movies would not be the same. Like, let's say like I don't even know. Like let's say something. You know, like when like nine eleven happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like let's say that never happened. Like you know, the world would be like such like a different like world right now. Mm -hmm. Let's say like this movie was never released. Like, movies coming after that wouldn't even be the same, you know? I mean, okay, so I guess if you, it, you would have to go back pretty far. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm guessing, that's difficult, man. Because I, honestly, I haven't seen a lot of really oh. older movies. How are you going to make us think? <laughs> hey, okay, okay, right? I haven't, you can't do that. I haven't seen a lot of older, older flicks. I've never seen Gone by the Wind. I've never seen Casablanca. I've, I've, I've heard of that. I haven't seen I've them. heard of them. I know they're. Old. I know they're apparently great movies. But again, old movies just aren't really my thing. Gone with the Wind is like four hours, I mean, and what is I just. Out? I have no idea. <laughs> I okay. Don't... Okay. This is like an easier question. Like actor or actress? Actress. Like, well, I was. I was about to say. I think. No, like no. I'm not saying actors <laughs> or actress. I'm saying like, like either at like what's like who's your most influential actor or actress? Oh. Well, uh, I'm not good. Well, I was, I was, well, actually, to backpedal to that last question real quick, I do think, I do think the greatest movies ever is, it has to be something made by Alfred Hitchcock, mm. because he was making movies in the 60s, and the stuff that he did, he basically changed the way people viewed movies, because movies before that were very, like, they were, like, a gimmick, you know? I mean, obviously, there were good movies made before the 60s, but I think the 60s is when the movies started getting, like, really good. For me personally, I would say probably Psycho, because um, that, that movie it's about it, it's a very interesting movie. It's about a woman who who goes crazy and she needs to run away, and then she ends up going to this motel where it turns out that the guy who owns the hotel is a crazy psychopathic killer, and like it, it was it was such an innovative movie for its time because all other horror movies were like monsters and like all yeah. that crap, but like this was the first movie that was like the worst monsters are people themselves. And like it was a very like innovative oh, that's movie. That's deep. No, that's deep right there. That was smart. Exactly. It was the first. It was the first like slasher movie. Even though only like two people die in the movie, but like it was the first movie like a serial killer. And like it was. Yeah. It was. I. 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 For me, that's that's the most important for the kind of movies that I like because it it, it made people think that like movies can be deeper. There's it, there's probably stuff before that, but that's just what I would pick. But like actor, that's a totally different question because there's so many amazing. There's, actors. I know, there's so many. There's, like, what is with you? These I would questions. Say, like, for me, my favorite and like the ones like just timeless, Leonardo DiCaprio. Like he's just like a time. Like you can't go he wrong is. with him. Yeah. He's so I'm timeless. Anyone that disagrees. I'm sorry. Yes, you are the so, only one. I just like he's so, I'm sorry. He's just. I just feel like he's overrated. I don't. I don't watch. Like, what what like, movies have you seen with him in? I've exactly. seen him in movies, but I just don't what like movies? it. Well, name one. Name one. I'm not <laughs> exactly. Just, I've seen. I just. I just like. I, I feel like I just don't to, like his work. Like when he was like a kid. Like I mean, the kid ones were good. I think the recent. Ones it's the good. opposite. Like the kids ones were okay. Yeah, they're. they're I but as he got older, as he got older, he just became like just. Because th there, there's I'm two. I'm just not into him. There's two kinds of Leonardo DiCaprio. There's post Titanic and pre Titanic. Titanic wow. is like the crossroads of his career, and like everyone loves him in Titanic, I but he was just he was, was he was so mostly wild. he was mostly just a pretty boy in that movie, you know. Like yeah, he, he didn't yeah. really. But then after.
afterwards, he started doing so many, like, experimental roles. Like, some of my favorites, he was in The Wolf of Wall Street, and he was literally I love in, that movie. incredible in The Wolf of Wall Street. He brought so much energy. He was so funny. Yeah. He was such a, like, likable, like, jerk. He was, he was a horrible person. Exactly. I would never, like, picture him that way. Like, I would, like... Like, he cheated, he cheated on his wife multiple times, both of his wives, multiple both. times, yeah, every single when, day. <laughs> when he cheated on with that girl named Venice, that was, like, that, that was, like, so me. funny. Like, that... that his first wife changed. was so pretty, too. Why would, why would he do that? Like, but he left her for Margot Robbie. Oh <laughs> but, like, even when he got the new hot wife, he cheated on her, too. And he was on drugs every single day. Exactly. And he was scamming all these people out of their money. But, like, he's so likable. And you, you know who else is good? Jonah Hill. Like his when Jonah, Jonah Hill's underrated. Like his the movies he directed, like the like mid nineties. Yeah, mid that was such a good movie. Mid nineties was really cool. Like, it was just like yeah. wow, like because like it wasn't like you don't when you think of movies like you don't think of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you think of movies like oh my god, too like so much. This is like literally like I don't even know how to describe it. It was like it wasn't a movie. It was a film. You know, we did, we, he made a film, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the movie was very low-key, too. It wasn't, like, super in-your-face. It wasn't trying to get Oscars or anything. Yeah. It kind of just slipped under without that many people noticing, but it was very low-key. It was just about a couple kids hanging out skating, so, you know? But it was it was a really good movie. It, it reminded me a lot of this other movie that came out in 1995 called Kids. That movie's a lot more disturbing, though, because that movie is, like, about teenagers having sex. And like catching AIDS and stuff. That movie was a little more depressing, <laughs> but it had the same vibe of like this is how kids really were, you yeah. know. And, and mid nineties, it took place. Mid nineties, it takes place in nineteen ninety. I forget somewhere in the mid nineties, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But like that movie was released at the same time, and they're very similar. Um, yeah. But I really like mid nineties. The way it's shot is really cool. It's in a the aspect ratio. If you notice, like there's bars on the side, yeah, yeah. and not the bottom and top. I forget what it's called. That specific aspect ratio but it just kind of adds this cool like uh vintage aesthetic to the whole movie it's 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 a really cool looking movie who's your favorite actor and actress just name any actress that you like or i don't think you you're like the type of people that watch movies and like don't know i know they I, are i know you who know, they like, are you don't know like you know what they look like i know i know their names or oh, most of them most of them okay just name one that you think is like super good you know, Why are you gonna put me on the spot like that? Like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> do you like not watch movies? I do. Just name. Can you at least name one? <laughs> or like, TV one. too. An actor from TV. TV. Exactly. I feel so targeted right now. <laughs> 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 I don't even want to be in this discussion anymore. But Sarah Paulson. You like I, her? I don't. Yeah, I don't watch. Story. I don't watch her stuff. But I, I do want to watch the one on Hulu though. But she's on American Horror Story a lot. And she's always she's crying. She's the one that's dating like a 60 year old. Or I, I think, yeah, she's dating an older woman. Yeah, I her. Think. Yeah, she, she always does horror movies, right? Or horror She was stuff. in Bird Box for like five minutes. She died right oh, at the she, she was the sister. Was she, was, she was Sandra Bullock's sister. Yeah. Oh, Sandra Bullock is so. She's great. I like her. Oh, yeah. She's, she's okay. She's like, but she's like in a lot of. She was in that White Savior movie and like people don't like her. Which White Savior movie? Was it Blind, Blind Side? Side? She was in the Blind Side? Yeah. Oh, because the reason why people don't like that movie it was because the the way that they made it is not the way it really happened. Yeah, like, the way yeah. Really Big Mike. Out. Big Mike. I hated that woman. Big Mike. <laughs> Come here, Big Mike. Oh. I can't even do that. That what's the southern accent she had? I, Come I, on, I, Big Mike. That was. Oh, I don't want to say this. Yeah, good, now but, like, I'm thinking about house, Big movies, Mike. Like now I'm thinking about like most of the movies that we watched as kids. They're just. They're so, so problematic. Like, it's just, yeah, mm -hmm. not I'm thinking but, like, about as, it. But we're kids, so we didn't know. Like, we were actually enjoying it. Like, as you grow old, you see what's wrong with, the, like, the world. Yeah. And then yeah, you... It's, just like, it's well, hard yeah. to enjoy stuff anymore. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times in the movies, they, they know, like, they point out that what the characters are doing is wrong. Because some people... some What I don't like is that some people try to call out movies for, like, the characters doing bad things. But it's like, the movie doesn't say those things are good either. Like, super bad, you know super bad? Yeah. Right? People, I, I heard people saying, oh, Superbad is horrible because the main characters are trying to get girls drunk and have sex with them. It's like, that's the movie never, happened. first like, of all, that not... does, have you seen the movie? Because they don't even end up doing it. But like, in the movie, they they point out that that's a horrible thing for them to do. And they point out that they're stupid. One of the characters doesn't even want to do it. It's mostly the main character, Jonah Hill, and he's doing it because he's super insecure. Yeah, and he's he can never so get, annoying in that movie. He, he can never get female attention. And the movie acknowledges that like, he's kind of an ass. 
It's like it's not saying, hey, you should go out and, and have sex with drunk girls. Like, no. But like, okay, I, so you're talking about like, the deeper meaning. Of yeah, the deeper meaning. The, like, the you movie, have to feel like that's what people are failing to The understand. movie acknowledges that that's a horrible thing to do, you know? But then yeah. there are other times, movies from like way back when, where like there's generally some bad stuff. And, yeah, like, like they, they would just hit their wives like... They, yeah, they, like that's they would just smack forgot, their wives. Yeah, I forgot what the... There was like a saying like... Oh, right in the kisser. Yeah. But they oh, had, oh, I know what you're talking about. What is that even that's supposed to be? That's from a honeymoon. That's from an old show called A Honeymoon. They're just the the main, right there in your lip. The right main the kisser, character. Right the, I thought that meant. The main character of the show, it's 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 like from the 50s, I think. But he was this big fat guy. And his catchphrase was literally, pow, right in the kisser. Yeah, pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> so like, talking about I punching know. his wife. Like, that show know. was... Yeesh, man. No, that's problematic. I thought it meant something else. Mm-hmm. What, do you mean? what else could it possibly mean? It could wow. mean anything because, to be honest, I, I don't know. Don't Damn, ask Janelle, me. That's questions. filthy. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> Bro, you're the only one thinking about that. No, because that's what I thought it meant. Bro, these weird sayings are just. Oh my gosh, you're not putting me on the spot right now. What is wrong with you people? I can't just sit in the middle. We're gonna come and attack. I know. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't do this no more. We're just gonna. We're okay, just gonna we're... As, as the podcast goes on, we're just gonna inch closer and closer to her. We're just gonna suffocate her. All right, we're let's, okay, let's light up the move. Something that you could talk about, you know, high school movies. Okay, no, that's okay. what I could talk like, about. What, like, <laughs> high school movies, they, like, they're good, but they just make me so mad. Because, like, watching them as a kid, you think this is what high school's going to be like. It either it gets you hurt. scared or it very so excited. Bad. Like, when, when, when I, when, like, the first day of school, it was just so bad. Because I thought it's going to be like, oh, we're no longer friends with with the people we had in middle school and then there's gonna be the, those mean girls there's gonna be that loner girl like you know we're, they, we're gonna separate into our own little groups we're gonna start dressing different we're then, gonna customize our own lockers and I mean, make it oh yeah closet. and then we and then we come there day one and nothing's like that i don't know why they did that that was hella rude i mean to be fair a lot of people to be fair a lot, i see a lot of people changing out their outfits like I, see, I mean, yeah, because you're, like, exploring your It's kind of awkward watching every single girl that I know go through their emo phase all at once. Yeah, it's, I would <laughs> never. I, oh, I, I see everyone going through their, like, alt-like goth phase. Uh, alt human. Yeah, bro, and I'm just like, I mean, I I'm not which complaining. which girls you are talking to? Not, <laughs> not the ones that I know. Mainly white girls. Mainly I white girls. Like, I feel like if we went to, like, if we had, like, a bigger school, yeah, I maybe, think that's what maybe it will, like, inch closer to that, like, narrative, but, like, even with that, like, it's still not... Well, I, I don't see that many high school movies, but I've seen a lot of high school shows. Mm-hmm. Like, I can what admit, th- there are two things. There, like, you know, 13 no, Reasons no, Why, what show he 13 Reasons Yeah, he's talking. But- <laughs> I'm trying to listen, you're talking in my ear. Okay, talk, like, like, 13 Reasons Why. Okay, so let's just stop right no, there. First no, off, 13 no. Reasons Why, That's it's, not it's a good school. show, but that is not how high school is at it, all. It just makes it... It was like deaths it every was, week. It was too <laughs> much, like, they were dragging. There's no way there's going to be five kids dying in the span of two years. I know. Because of that, like, that would have set off alarms, like, a Exactly. That, that's they would have got shut down. They would have got shut down. Have you guys even, like, met people who have died? Or, like, at least in school? Like, in no, school? Yeah, like, we, when, if, like, in our, like, our school, like, probably, like, one person. Yeah. I remember that one person dying. And, like, Ooh. um, they oh. got a died of cancer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Ra- and, like, it's uh, all Ra- like, a, they have a mural in the cafeteria. Well, I forgot what his name, like, Ray Raekwon. Raekwon. Yeah. Raekwon. Yeah. But, like, the thing is, we didn't know him. Yeah, we yeah, didn't we know him. And he died of like a natural thing. It was cancer. But in Thirteen Reasons Why, it's like bam, <gasps> suicide, bam, AIDS. Like wait, who died of AIDS? Uh, uh was it Justin? Spoiler alert! Justin. It was uh, yeah, it was Justin. Justin. I, I did not. Bro, and it came I'm out. I'm gonna be honest. Nowhere. I did not watch the third season or the fourth season because the once season Anna or so Anna came in. On Ani. Ani. Once she and came no into liked the her. no one liked her. Like, that's the thing we have to point. We need to stop bullying these actors or actresses for something no, that they because, can't control. No, let's like, just be honest. If you read the script, you would have like said no. Because I would have said no well, if I saw the script. You know how but she was like she was like the most unimportant, irrelevant character in that whole show, and it makes me so heated. Like you need a calm no, down. You're <laughs> shaking the water. <laughs> I'm sorry because she's. Her character uh, I, made no sense at all. I know, but she can't control that. She like, like obviously she gets to read the script. Thing, it's like it's like someone offering you ten thousand dollars just to act, like just do that, literally just to do. But the, but the thing that, that. they feel, the thing that she failed to realize is that the only reason why they put her on the show is because they needed another diversity spot in it. Yeah, I know. they needed another black person because I don't, that's not her I, fault. Like if you that's have, not. It's, I, I, I'm it's, not it's not her fault. But if I read the script 
and I saw that, I would have said no. You if I was given the offer, opportunity to do that, I would say yes. Are no. Yes. What are you like? <laughs> no, There's I wouldn't do that. Especially in like teen. Um, You're valuing money. No, but right. listen, but listen, but listen. There's a lot of teen stuff with unnecessary characters. A lot of just which one? Because they want to depict like this diverse, like in a lot of teen stuff, like um, and I feel like literally, like there's a lot of teen I, stuff. I really need an example. Thirteen Reasons Why unnecessary characters. Yeah, yeah, we know. Atypical, some unnecessary. Who is which one? Like um, the girl when she likes both um people. That was so unnecessary. Like why could she just keep like? But I feel like that made a good storyline. Wait, I don't know which. I, I, I the didn't sister. Watch, I didn't watch the second season. Oh, I, I didn't watch that show. Period. That show was so bad. actually not that bad. It got oh, canceled, man. didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it looked they, so it did. bad. Yeah, because they, they or, said their final season was coming. Oh, yeah. Damn. Or like, oh, you know what's another high school show? I only saw the first episode, but it was so unrealistic. Sex Education. That yeah. show. No, that was, but I, I just like it. They're in it like so un. They're in like junior year, and people are like. Bro, people are boning in the bushes. <laughs> like, <laughs> in England. Like, no. Oh, yeah, you think that like, they're mad conservative because they're, like, in it's, England. Yeah, they're, it's in England. Like, that is not where it's like. I mean, I'm not I'm, English, I'm, we're, not gonna I'm not, we're not going to assume anything. I'm not going to assume, but, like, that yo. Is like, not, like, for here, at least. I like, go to high school. Like. like, I go to high school. That we don't know. We just go to a different school. Yeah. We just go to a different school, so we, we can't really say yeah, for that. at least my high school experience. Yeah, I mean, obviously people have sex, but, like, Nobody knows about everyone's like individual like little like entanglements. It's like no one likes your posting unless, about it. Yeah, unless you're just annoying and like have nothing better to do with your life. Yeah. So you just yeah. expose yourself. Yeah, so, those are, yeah. I school, mean, obviously that happens. High school like, movies like they need to be more realistic and prepare us for like what it actually you is. You know what they need to? It's just depression. They need um they need actors who are actually high school. Hey, hey you! Oh my god! He's 30 years old. He does not look like a high school kid. Right. On my blog, what's the, what's her name again? The, the Oh, um, that girl, um, um J- Jasmine. J- yeah, J- Jasmine yeah, was 30. She was 30 in the show. Like, come like, on, we don't even. I look like I'm 10 and I'm in high school. Like, I don't know what you guys are doing. Because, like, I ex- like, when I came in, I was like expecting people looking full grown, but I'm seeing kids. Yeah. Kids in high school. So you all need to stop that. You know what's you know what's a movie that did really good? It's not like a high school movie. It's like a late middle school movie, but like uh eighth grade. We watched it in um school. Yeah, yeah, eighth grade. Right, I think they actually use real kids. They use real kids. Real really chief. Really- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> chief. I, I saw that movie I saw that movie right when it came out because I love Bo Burnham. I remember in eighth grade like I was geeking out real bad about Bo Burnham <clears throat> and like it was kind of embarrassing. I exposed myself a little bit. Yeah. Actually, s- side note, it was kind of embarrassing. I remember I really wanted to show people like his music, so it was uh, what was her name? The the social studies teacher, Miss uh, Shaughnessy. Are we supposed to disclose our and, names? Oh matter. shoot. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Hey, Miss Shaughnessy. <laughs> <laughs> Watching this. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, she she emailed me like the other day. She did. Oh, yeah. I don't even talk to us no more. Right. Like she forgot about us. I think not. Or, or maybe I don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I remember she was like, "Oh, I could show a song," and she showed the very first song that he ever made, like on YouTube. Oh yeah, you. I remember. I was in that. It was class. like my whole family thinks I'm gay. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I, and I like was I remember, it was that actually was so funny. That I was so into it, but then, but then I remember Jody turned around to me. He's like. You like this? And I, I felt like so like attacked. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I like this. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Your voice cracked, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, like I felt mad and bad, but like the point is that, that actually that I like that that song was super funny. He yeah. makes a lot of really funny music. He hasn't done a stand-up special ever since twenty sixteen. I need him to come back, man. Yeah. But the last thing he did was um was he made eighth grade. That was the last thing he did and that was in twenty seventeen. No, he didn't die. Oh. <laughs> I I'm sorry I, because you said the last damn. thing he did. He's like twenty get dark. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like twenty six. Oh, oh dang. But like God. Yeah, but he's very talented for his age, and he made 8th grade, and literally, it was, like, the most realistic depiction of middle school I've ever seen. Because like, it wasn't like, too school. much. Like, it wasn't, it didn't... Yeah, nobody's I dying. Like it, was, it was more truthful the, to, like, the, what everybody you know, was and, like, people the are most... going through insecurities, like, it just made yeah. sense. And, like, like you're just learning... I don't think they had sex education in that, in the movie, right? 
they no, did. They, they did. The banana yeah, scene, remember? Oh, and but, in like, the but they, and in the like, beginning. it's always like that typical banana in the condom scene. But like, the problem is like we don't really like learn that in school. Well, that's because we that's, 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 that's people ruined it for us. Yeah, people. I wasn't there that year again. I'll repeat that. But the thing is, like, they don't really teach us more other than the banana and the condom. And that's it. And so then, you know, all so then, we, we learn a lot about just how what to do after like like sexual assault. Like that's all we oh, learn. We learned a lot. Assault. We learned a lot. Okay, I mean, a lot about that. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> no shade. Yeah, no, but no okay. shade anything. I just I'm just wondering. Cause I was, okay, okay. I wasn't let's, there. Let's I was part of that. Exposed before we exposed <laughs> the whole school system. Um. Okay. How do you guys feel about scary movies though? No. No like scary movies. I don't. I don't mind. Like, I mean, like if you can watch scary movies and then just fall asleep right after, there's something like I wrong. Have to like, like I don't want. Yeah, you have to like like water it down. You know what I'm saying? I I watch a lot of scary movies, so I I go to sleep perfectly fine. I think that's probably just because I'm a, I'm a very disturbed <sighs> person. I don't get scared easily. Because okay, I, I mean I mean not to brag, but like I've seen some stuff like I can't ever unsee. So like most there's horror like movies. There's a lot of weird scary like I, the Human Centipede. Yeah, Did you watch that? Key. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen the first two. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen parts of the last one. The, the the first one's okay. It's not that bad. It's definitely nasty. But like the the second one's where it gets real nasty because the second one is about a guy who saw the first movie, and he's like a big fan, so he wants to make his own. Except instead of the first one is okay because like he's a surgeon, so he yeah. does it very clean. It is what clean. He he he, he so stitch. He sews their mouths to their asses. Like to to make to a human sense to chain them together. I don't know why. But in the second one, he's not a doctor. So he does that with duct tape and staples. And it is gory. It is disgusting. There's a scene when one of the one of the people in the centipede, it's longer too. It's like 15 people. And one of the women is pregnant. And the woman literally rips her mouth off and like escapes. And she gives birth while she's in her car. But she wants to get away so badly that she steps on the baby on the gas pedal. Alright, never it's, mind. It's so um, mm-hmm. extra. That thriller movie. movies. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the difference between thriller and horror? Thriller is like, thriller is like a suspense movie. I feel like, like they dun, don't dun, do dun, like dun, that pop dun, dun. It's like um, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like, uh, like Jaws. a movie that gets you stressed out. I mean, yeah, that's like the classic example. But like, uh, like Parasite is like a thriller because mm. it, it gets you very stressed out. Uncut Gems is a thriller. Anything that Wait, like Uncut personal. Gems is a thriller. Mm. Yeah, because that ending was stressful as hell. Yeah, I didn't... I, yeah, yeah, it was, like, it was really if, good. To me, a thriller is like, if it keeps you on edge, or like The Dark Knight. For me, The Dark Knight is a thriller. That movie, like, had me on my edge in my seat. Okay, and then, like, horror is like Bird Box. Yeah, horror, no, horror is Bird like, Box is horror thriller. Is, horror is... It, uh, it, that one's a little, a little mix of both. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a little mix of both of horror house? and thriller. Yeah, because like it yeah, has horror. Like, no, like, they made they made the genre as thriller. It has oh, horror elements thing. though. Like people are being killed, and it's like there's monsters. So yeah, it has the monsters were the yeah. people. I like how the sunlight just came in. Like <laughs> I don't understand how like like when people that make scary movies, like what is what are like what goes through their mind? Because like I it's feel like, like they're psychopaths. Like why? Like I mean, I understand some like oh like an like a like a doll coming to life. You know, that's just like the classic horror movie Did where I like watch it. Or like someone like haunting you, like, ooh, scary yeah. ghost. The Casper? Not the friendly <laughs> ghost. Saw <laughs> Casper. The Casper. Oh, the Casper. Casper. It's called Casper. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but like stuff that are like I don't know. Like what I don't know. I don't even want to talk about this no more. I, I I know, I know. Some well someone can get real disturbing, but all I'll say is like obviously there are people like the human centipede too, like it's made by a weird guy. Like all three of them are made by the same sense. guy and like, the first one is a fine movie. The next two are, like, they're just extra. Extra for no reason. You know what I mean? And and I, and I those kind of people are, like... But, like, there are some movies that are like that that actually horrify me, but they're made by very, like, professional... They know what they're doing. You know Ari Aster? No. He made, um... He made Midsommar and he made Hereditary. And... Oh, th- those scary movies. And those movies... They, oh. Those were the only movies recently that have actually really scared me. Like, when I saw Hereditary, I couldn't sleep. Like, I, 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 someone told me to watch. I was like, no. It's it. It's, it's not even like it's like no. scary. It's just like disturbing. It makes you uncomfortable. In Midsummer, it makes you even more uncomfortable. Like that movie. Like yeah, I've heard of that movie. It's not that it's like scary, but it definitely is horrifying. Like it, like it hurts to watch. And it's not because it's super like extra, like the Human Centipede, where it's like nasty to watch. It's not nasty. It's just it makes you uneasy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a. It's just like 
ugh, it makes you feel weird. But like he is is genuinely an amazing director. His movies are great. Robert Edgar's too. He made The Witch and The Lighthouse, both great movies. I don't, the, I don't I like scary movies. They're I'm both just... great. The Witch was on Netflix. Um, it was great. It, it's spelled Witch with like two V's, like Vich. V's. Yeah, two V's. In which? Vich. It, yeah, it's it's spelled like Vich because it's. It, Oh, it's two like dub, like W, but like instead it's of W, it's two V's. So v v bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like do the most. But it is pronounced the witch, but it's it's weird. But he, those movies are like semi horror. But again, it it's 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 uh, above just trying to scare. Because a lot of other horror movies are made on a budget of like two million dollars, and they're super cheap. They're mostly Tacky. always. Most of the time, they're made by Blumhouse. If you yeah. watch any movies, that that it they used to be good, but now they're just doing they they because that's what they do. They pump out cheap movies and they make a lot of money, you know. And but like movies are I, my favorite horror movies are made by A twenty four or at least produced by A twenty four. The Lighthouse, yeah, yeah, no. uh, The Lighthouse, uh, Hereditary. Those movies. The Lighthouse was my favorite movie in twenty twenty. I just um, have one question. I've noticed that in horror movies, it's always like the. Yeah, the, the something. The, 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 the. Why is that? I, I don't know. That just so because it's like, the, like, the, like, there, there's what is something, that? There's something, trying, there's, something, trying to have emphasis. there's something so powerful about that word, just the. 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 Okay. The. You know, it's instead of just saying hered the, 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 the hereditary. No, it's not the hereditary. I think it's just hereditary. You can't say hereditary. the hereditary. That's not hereditary. 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 Because isn't yeah, there like a movie hereditary. called The Boy or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, like The Boy. Or if boy. you just put Boy. The Blob. Boy. Um, Have you ever watched Boy before? The Thing. I don't think that Right, like imagine watched. like The Thing. Like, imagine if you just like, oh, let's go watch The Thing. Yeah, like... That's, the only that's not like a kid's movie. But like The Thing, it's like, ooh, what's that? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I just... One more question. So, I was... <laughs> Let him off. Let him <laughs> I was on Netflix and I was watching a movie with my brother. It was called, I think, The Platform or something like that. Mm. And... The Platform? Great movie. Yeah. So, cause, cause I was watching it, and then the ending, I was like, "What the? F that shit don't make no sense." And then I like researched it, cause like it was like all about like capitalism and then communism, and then like the whole point. I don't, I don't want to get into it, but like I I've noticed like scary movies are like they always have like that weird ending to it, and yeah. then you just yeah. don't understand, what and I get confused. I, a lot of horror movies, not even horror movies, like they us. do this with a lot of thrillers. Oh. That one. That that ending made perfect sense. It it made sense. I, like I understood it bro, when I first watched it. I literally it, watched it, like, it in what? eighth grade in Spanish class. I was hella confused because I was like, "What the f just happened?" I saw that in the theaters. I it, it made sense. It made the, sense. Like it, they're, they're um experiments. Like they, like in the eighties, they were doing experiments where they were cloning people, and yeah, then they then stopped there's it. There's tunnels like under like everywhere. underground. There's tunnels. and that's actually real. And so that's, then yeah yeah so then the clones. At the beginning of the movie, um, I thought you were like kiss. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to step out for this one? <laughs> Shut up. Yo, did you? She was just like. Sorry, I was trying to get something. I can leave it so slowly, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not good. Yeah, we're gonna but, like, cut that part out. That... We're not cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what what happened was like the the main character. She was one of the clones. Yeah, and, and they switched. Like... She got switched when she was like a child. Like, remember oh, that yeah, little girl? God. Yeah, <laughs> but that's why she can speak because originally she was human. That's yeah. why she's the only one who can speak. That's why but, she's but, doing but, but, but wouldn't it make sense for her to be able to speak already because she was already like, like at that age? I don't know what age she was, but she shouldn't she be able to like talk? Like, probably like nine. Yeah, so yeah. couldn't you talk? So why she's like, because she was choked out. Don't you remember the, the scene where she was choked? Like her vocal cords are shredded. Yeah, but, remember, but like the clones themselves, like the clones don't really talk. So wait, like, but so then, like, okay, that's just, uh, we'll talk. us. Us was a, us was a good movie. It, it, I I understood it, but like I know what you mean by like mainly a lot of a lot of thrillers. You know, like like Cube or like Circle. You guys ever seen like Circle? Like, yeah, I, they, that was that was a good movie. They, it was yeah, it was an okay movie. But they, what they do a lot of the times is that they leave you, they leave it mad open ended because they I, want. I they hate want, that. At the end, like there was like this yeah, UFO, the, these UFOs, and they just never explain it in the sky. And I was just like, how how did you get from there to the floor? Like <laughs> alien, they just uh, all everything explained just aliens. Like, and this kid's so selfish, he killed the girl that was pregnant and the child at you the do same whatever time. You, do. you know what's the one thing I don't like about that movie? 
they were all taken from the same highway. Why is it so overly diverse? Like, you get, literally, you get, like, gay people, you get people from the army, you get yeah. a police officer, you get a businessman, you get a pregnant woman, like, you get yeah, a, you get a child. Child. I know with that one you, pregnant woman. You get the one pregnant so, like, woman, you, you get the Muslim films. woman, you got a black couple, you know, it's Always like, that black. The black person always gets killed first. They didn't get, I don't think, I don't they know. didn't get killed they didn't first. Get killed I mean, not, first. I don't watch that movie. But they but got like, killed. usually, wasn't it Bird Box that dude got killed for no reason? He was, wasn't he the first person to die? Um, well, there was wow. the guy. There, um, was, there was the guy from Moonlight that was there, but he died in, way later. But um, I think that's the, right that's the black dude. I think. No, he died like at the end of the movie. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, he not, did. Yeah, he not, did. Not, not, oh, not him. Yeah, not Tom. him with um Sandra or Sandra. I can't pronounce it. Sandra Bullock. Not not that couple. I'm talking about the dude that worked at the grocery store. Oh yeah, him. He uh, died that, first. That movie, that movie well, he was like a com- Like he was like the funny guy. <laughs> And why did they kill him first? Because well, they needed well, to get mean, more, like, They should have killed the... They didn't kill oh, him yeah. first. They didn't I kill mean, him first. Like, he blasted The him. first person to die was uh, Sandra Bullock's sister. Yeah, because she just... Well, but she... I'm not talking talk about the people that made it to the house. She didn't even... She didn't make it. Yeah, and then she the, and then the other... There was also a Puerto Rican girl, and she just... Yeah. She ran away with Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> that was so... That actually that was, made me mad. That was, was like... Oh, what was the was, point of him being in the movie? <laughs> he was in it for five minutes. They boned, and then they left. Like, that frustrated me so badly. Like, why are they in this movie? And what do you think you're gonna do with just the two of you? Exactly. Like I really With hope the that right, car. I really you're gonna, you're gonna crash. I really <laughs> hope right when they pulled out, like they just crashed into one of the monsters. It's like, they annoyed me so much because she's like, I'm not that easy, and then she bones him that night. Like, okay, I'm not that easy. Bro, I okay, about literally everything that happened. It's such a bad. It, I mean, it's not horrible. It's, so it's just such a. It's so. Scary. When I first watched, it, I was super scared. I I was scared, but then the ending made sense, and then I heard people were so confused at the ending. It was a- when it was literally all you had to read was. <laughs> all you had to read was the words because i was like like in my head when I, was, when I was in the middle of the movie i was like the people who are gonna make the like who's gonna make it till the end was like people who are blind and then when you go all the way to i'm <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry but that was literally what i was thinking because it's it, they were like whatever that thing was was contacting you through your eyes right so obviously the blind people are not gonna like get affected by that. No, no yeah, offense. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not even trying to like I don't make think you have any that. blind people in the movie. But then and then they go, they make it to the the place, and it was just a blind place for. It was a school for blind people. There you yeah, go, yeah, yeah. and they made. But it. it was in the middle of the forest for some reason. I I don't know how that works <laughs> out. Actually, how, are they, how are they? How are they gonna get there? They can't see. Like, <laughs> yo! It's like, no, I think they got, like, played. They're like, we have a be- it's like a beautiful place, it's in the city. <laughs> you know? It's like, cool, I believe you. <laughs> yo. That's so funny. Oh my god. That would be Left or die. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, now, quick, quick game. You don't have to play, because you don't really know your actors. Or I, I know actors. I'll, we'll do, you will play, you can play when we do the movies, right? We're just going to play this or that. This is actors first. You don't really know them. This I know some of them. Okay, you just <laughs> <laughs> like, let me say them. I'm All right, I'm gonna just start giving two names. You pick this or um, that person or the other person. What if I look them if, up for you? If you don't know don't, either, don't look up. If, if you don't know either, say pass, and we'll give or you. Or you could just pick whatever name sounds better. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's start off. Jack Nicholson or Meryl Streep. Jack Nicholson. I think Meryl Streep is overrated. Everyone loves it. She was so good in this. She has she so many awesome movies. I don't know her in- I, I have not seen her in movies. The one movie I saw her in was The Iron Lady, and like, that was okay. What about you? I don't know who those people okay. are. Okay, um, <laughs> alright, Jack Nicholson or Robert De Niro? Or Robert De Niro. I mean, I like Jack Nicholson, but he's kind of a novelty actor, and he's not acting really anymore. Robert De Niro is still acting. He's still- he was in The is Irishman he, just like uh, last year. Isn't he like- how old is he? He's like in his seventies. He was in, last year. He was in, the, he was in Joker and he was in The Irishman, and those both got nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. Like, did he win? Like he's, <laughs> um, uh, The Irishman didn't win anything, but Joker won Best Actor, which wasn't him, and it also oh. won Best Score because the music in that movie was really good. Okay, so who are you picking? Yeah, Robert De Niro because he's still oh, he's still on fire. I don't know those people. <laughs> All right, Robert De Niro or Mer- Marilyn Monroe. She's overrated. Robert De Niro. Marilyn Monroe is just... And 
Is she like I mean, kind of problematic? I mean, she, she did it? she did sleep with John F. Kennedy, so like that's kind of baller. Oh yeah, but <laughs> Kennedy kind of baller. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, wow. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, Robert De Niro or Al Pacino? Al Pacino. Oh crap, dude. Well, it's Al. Yeah, Al Pacino. Better. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Pacino. <laughs> Pacino. I was about to say like, uh, you mean Pacino? <laughs> that's hard. I mean. I think Robert De Niro is the better actor, but Rob, Damn, but like, but Al Pacino, I don't know, man. I, I love I love his voice. I, like he's like my I like him better personally, but I guess I'll go with Al Pacino, man. I love Scarface. Oh, All right. he's switching. All right, Al or Charles Chaplin. Charles, Cha oh Charles Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin's cool. Um, he's a very vintage dude, but, um... I don't know these people, bro! What <laughs> which one sound, we're saying which one sounds better! Oh, the Chaplin dude. Chaplin. I mean, I Chaplin. like Charlie Chaplin, he does kind of look like Hitler, which is a little weird. Also, I've never heard him speak, because he was doing movies in the silent era, yeah, but... silent movies. But, uh, I'm... I'll oh, Chaplin. so he's an old dude. Okay, so... He's dead. Al or... He died. <laughs> oh, I'm Tom sorry. Tom Hanks. I know what Tom Hanks is. So you're picking Tom Hanks? Versus Al... Al... Al I like Al Pacino. Yeah, I like Al Pacino, name. man. Tom Hanks is name. cool. Alright, alright, this one's gonna get hard. Wait, Gents. was Tom Hanks in the Terminator thing? He was never in Terminator. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was... Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Ar yeah. <laughs> Big <laughs> head. Okay, alright, this is Denzel Washington or Al Pacino. I'm picking Denzel. I do Did like black? Denzel. No, because he's super, like, bro, the <laughs> movies he's been in. But, like, nowadays, he's I'm not doing much. much. I mean, I love Training Day. Training Day, like, that was one of his best. I know, but, like, what he's what doing now, The Equalizer? Like, I think, like, my only problem with, like, actors that are world-known is that, like, actors who are up-and-coming can't really get up there if there's people like him in, like, all these yeah, movies. Pe yeah, because, yeah. That's, like, like, my only big problem. Like, there are movies that are specifically made for actors. Like, no yeah. one would have watched Skyscraper if it didn't have The Rock. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's one of those movies. Do you remember that movie? It came out... Like, I remember when it came out. Like, I remember oh, I'll seeing see that. Sky that movie was literally just made for him. Like, hey, The Rock, do you... <laughs> they, they went up to me, hey, The Rock, do you want another $100 million? And he's like, sure. And they just gave him that. Yeah. Okay, so who'd you guys pick? Um, yeah, Al Pacino. Damn. Pacino. Al Pacino. Okay, Diane Keaton or Al Pacino. I don't Diane know who Diane Keaton is. I, what I, movie is she? I forgot, but like, she's like, there you go. Actress. See, this is why I wanted to look it up. No, good. You have to just, which one sounds better? Okay, Julia Roberts. You you know her. Yeah, still Al Pacino, man. I'm powering through Al Pacino, man. Okay, Morgan Freeman. I do like Morgan Freeman. I don't like his like he's, 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 he's a little corny, though. Oh, like, he was he, in one God movie like that. He was in he's Bruce like, Almighty, yeah. Is it that? Yeah, yeah, he was in Seven. I love Seven. I don't know. He was in Ten. He was in, he was in, <laughs> ten. He was in some movie about Noah and the Ark. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's Evan Almighty. That. It was that was the Evan. sequel to Bruce Almighty. Okay, so what? you guys are still going with Al? I, yeah, I, but, but to be I fair, I just want to point out, man, I like Morgan Freeman. But his politics are really corny. Thank you. I don't. I don't like his views on politics. Cause like he's always saying this stuff about black people aren't oppressed in America. Yeah. How? That's why I don't Look know. at me. I'm famous. That means we're not oppressed. Like boy, if you don't. Like yeah, you did like, good. Has, he, like kind of his, like, voice is, his voice is really nice. Yeah. But again, I think the main thing yeah, going for him like is his Earl. voice. Okay. Okay. This one part. So, yeah, Al Samuel oh, L. Jackson. Oh, I love that dude. He's hella funny. That's it. That's all my thing. I really, I'm I really, I'm, really, really if you, like isn't, him. Wait, is he like the black guy in every movie? He's the, the yes! black guy in every movie! Yes! It, was, it was him or someone. I'm like, yeah, he's literally in every movie. Man, Samuel Jackson's in like every Quentin Tarantino movie, so like, that's hard. I really like him. Bro, you're not gonna switch up? Damn. I am gonna switch up, man. I'm sorry, Samuel Jackson. Wow. Yeah. He's, he's priceless. Right, um, Kevin Spacey. Can you let me? No, <laughs> I'm not. I can't. I can't pick him on principle. Ooh, on principle, he 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 molested a 14 year old boy. Oh yep, yep. Uh, oh, yeah. But and and again, I've never seen House of Cards. The one movie I saw him in that I liked is Seven. I really like Seven. He was great in that. Which he also played a serial killer who chopped wow. off a woman's head. Wow. But um, yeah, I can't pick him on principle. On okay. principle, man. Okay, Angelina Jolie. She's just not good. Like, she's just not good. I'm still sticking with Samuel, man. Wow. What? Johnny Depp. You know him. I know him. Johnny Depp. He's okay. I, I, don't, I don't like his I feel, movie. I don't like one movie. He's okay. He's like, I, he's so, he's been in so many stuff. Like, he can really switch up 
I, I mean, yeah, he can switch up. I just, I've never watched I that. Mean, Parrot, Pirates. Parents of the Caribbean. Pirates. <laughs> Pirates I just, of the Caribbean. It just was not Lily in, Walker looks, in the chocolate. I know, but he, I, I still can't he, um, him. His, I don't really he's know. a great actor, because he just, he's a character actor. Like, yeah. when you think of Jack Sparrow, you don't think of Johnny Depp. You think of, like, a yeah. pirate. Like, he yeah. played that role very well. That was the one thing. He was carrying that whole franchise on his shoulders, dude. Exactly. Like, and, 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 you know, it sucks what happened to him recently with Amber Heard. Yeah, I just we need to right remove now. her. From Amber Heard, man, you're horrible. horrible. I can't believe you did that but, to Johnny. But what did she do? She abused No, 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 I said, what did she do for a living? Oh, I know what she did. Ass. She was in Aquaman. 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 I, I didn't Aquaman. watch that. Yeah, she's Isn't horrible. Isn't that like a DC movie? Yeah, it's yeah. a DC yeah. movie. It's, it's, it's bad. But, man, she abused Don't Johnny Depp. And then blamed it on him. And then said that, and then sued him. And then he lost. Because he's like, he's like, cause they, they thought, oh, a, a girl can't beat up a guy. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, and then her? and then the messages came out and like, cause he would record it. He would record her ass, Smart. and then he would have her just like yelling at him for nothing. And he's like, he's I'm sorry, sorry. He's I'm sorry. Like a chill ass dude. He was literally just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pa 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 pa. Like, yo, bro, this it was a crazy. I, I already know yes. you guys' answer to this one, but Zach Efron or something else. Mm mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to go with Zach. No, I'm just joking. Whoa, 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 I'm just joking. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm joking. Mean, he's great. He can sing. Mm. He's sexy. Mm. All right, Jonah Hill. I love Jonah Hill, man. But again, like I have to. Jonah Hill's great. He's so underrated. I like black but, like, people. I, yeah, I, I like. I like. I like black people too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? What is black? Like, okay, okay. I mean, I'm on a podcast called Black Nipples. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. He is valid for that. Oh, oh my god. All right, Kevin Hart. No. Nah, he's not a good he's, actor. He's actually he's he's the same thing. All right, all right, look at me. I'm little. I'm six really? foot two. Oh no, not six, six foot two. Six foot two. <laughs> okay. I meant five foot two. All right, I'm five foot two. I can't get no yeah, respect. All right, Seth right. Rogen. He sucks too. He's not that bad. He's pretty bad. He play- like, he's, he's also like Kevin Hart. He just- that list. I literally think he's just a worse he's Jonah good. Hill. Yeah, can you stop thinking? You pay attention. You don't even know <laughs> actors. No, but how did you not put him on that list? I, I was going to, but I forgot. Who? Alright, um- Adam Sandler. But nah, no one really- He's like, been in like three I, good I, movies. I don't, I don't yeah. like his- uh, Grown Ups? The Grown Ups was good. Uncut Gems was good. Uncut Gems was good. But I liked him in Funny People. I liked him in- what else was I just like him. Hotel Transylvania. He was actually good in that. I actually, yeah, I actually yeah. really Wait, well, like, was he the one? I don't say blah blah blah. That dude. Oh, you mean Dracula? What? <laughs> <laughs> the main character? Is that you him? You mean the main character, the main Dracula? Character? Yeah, him. Oh wow. Was it him? Yes. yes. All I needed was a yes. Damn. Damn. Why was that the first line? <laughs> because I just said his name? it's because I always heard that commercial every time I was a child. I don't say blah blah blah. <laughs> okay, Will Smith. Will Smith. Um, I would say Will. I would have to get Come on, he's overrated. I, I mean, was really watching a scene from, uh, what's that? Uh, is it that sad movie with, um, No, 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 no. Um, um, A French pr- French pr- Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, where? The father thing. Yeah, he was like, why does he not, lo- like, why, why don't he don't want to? Yo, like, him? that one? That, that scene? That made me so sad, because, like, we were watching you, that in school. Did you watch it? No. Oh, well, my class did. I almost cried. But it was just cry. like, he was just like, he was just going in. I don't think he was acting he, at this point. No, he was not acting. Like, he does have good moments. He has good moments, definitely. Like, I really like the Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit of yeah. Happiness is a little corny, but, like, Will Smith did some excellent acting. Like, I remember in that interview scene, yeah. when he got the job and he was, like, a buyer cry, and, like, that just made me, like... Or that scene when he's talking to his son, and he's like, don't ever let... Let don't... someone tell you can't do anything. Yeah, not even not... me. Yeah. And, like, he was, like, you could see him when he's on the verge of tears, but he doesn't actually cry. You know, I like how he doesn't go... Like overboard, like he doesn't actually cry, but he just comes close. You know, he doesn't make like, the ugly cry like thing. Like Viola Davis. Yeah, like or, or oh, like right. Uh, or Let's like, not disrespect her. Or like Sarah Paulson or something. Like they just be, they just be ugly crying all the time. It's like yo, like to be a really good actor, you gotta make it look like you're crying. Yeah, like holding it back. Denzel Washington in Glory when he was getting whipped. I yeah. Think, was it Glo- yeah, it was. Like I don't that know. One so, so that one tear. That one tear Will Smith has moments, but at this point in his career, like he's not doing anything interesting. And, like, he's mainly just known for, like, hey, look at me, I'm Will Sniff. Look at me. Yeah. I'll, I would say Will Sniff. Sniff? Oh. <laughs> Sniff? <laughs> no. I don't know why. I just, he's All right. a... Or Leonardo DiCaprio. That one's actually hard. Because those two are excellent actors. Samuel Wait, Jackson. Who are you comparing? Samuel Tom Jackson Lewis. and Leonardo DiCaprio. All right. They've been in the same movie together. Um, what movie? Uh, Django Unchained. Um, yeah. 
Leonardo DiCaprio played the plantation owner, and oh, Samuel Jackson played scenes. played um the Uncle Tom. Then <laughs> wasn't Leonardo comparing a head, a skull? Yeah, 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 yeah it was. Yeah. He's it's so great. He played that. You hate him so bad, especially because if he he's played so, that well, he played it too, too good. Like well. he was so, and he was like he played it like he's so stupid, but he tries so hard to be smart. Like there was like I one of my favorite lines in the whole movie is that oh Calvin is French. And then the character says speaking French, he's like, oh, but don't speak French in front of him. He's not good at it, so you'll make him feel self-conscious. Like, he, because that's literally how plantation owners were back then. They're stupid people, but they want everyone to think that they're smart. That's really how they were. But, like, yeah, it was so great. Samuel Jackson was also really good in Django and Chain. He, he was also hateable, too. Because wow. they killed... because oh, he played... The... Yeah, yeah, because he was basically, like, the final guy in that movie. Because in that movie, um... Was, was Calvin Cal was Jamie it Calvin Fox Candy? It? Yeah, Jamie Foxx was yeah. Django, which he was weirdly good in that because I didn't think Jamie Foxx would do that good. Yeah. But um, um, Cal like what was it Calvin Candy or something? Uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. He died like near the end, and then the last person that they kill is um is uh the uh, Samuel Jackson's character. I think his name was like Nathan or something. And he, he I played Uncle it. Tom, but he also like he was the one who ratted out um Django and his friend. And got them killed basically so he was really bad like he wanted to be loved by the plantation owner so badly he was so annoying he was such a rat and and he also faked having a limp because in the whole movie he's, he's 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 walking with a cane and then the very last scene when when Django has has his guns up he like throws the cane away so he was just faking it and then it was so cool because Django tells all the other slaves to run away but then he's like not you you stay and he shoots his knees out and then he lets him bleed out and then the house blows up it's it's really good like both of them were so hateable in that movie, but they were so good. Who are you picking? For what? I don't. Uh, I, I, no, I'm sticking to the black. Woman. I said all that, and I still think it makes. What is decision. the black woman on this? Like, what is wrong with you? This is this is not even diverse anymore. Who, like, why do you need the unnecessary <laughs> black women? Like, <laughs> not, not even the black woman. Viola Davis. I don't see. Um, I don't see. Octavia Spencer. I don't see Asian. I don't see nothing. Just oh white people. What is your are, problem? Do you, are you gonna pick? Yes a lot because no? all the biggest actors are like white. That's white, the problem. Are, exactly. What do you want me to do about that's a director? Not, that's not art fault. That's not art fault. Then stop the, hyping them up. But they're good. I'm not gonna say the only like because they're white. They're not good. Oh, not that. It's like we need the only like black actress like I can think of that people really love is like Octavia Spencer That's or um, um um Lapita La I was about to say that who um uh, 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 uh. what's her name who Lapita Lupita. 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 you know what was she in in is it us or whatever oh, don't talk, look at me you oh, started her. this conversation <laughs> you the the main character oh she was a uh, oh and she was in uh, Black Panther too wasn't yeah. she um, she played uh, the girlfriend right bro I'm not gonna lie I recently watched the Black Panther and then, so they had a kiss, but it was so unnecessary. Like, because it just, like, Black the Panther, whole romance, it didn't fit in Black that Black Panther film. just wasn't that good. It really wasn't. It I'm was sorry. good, but I didn't like it the first time I watched it, but I liked it. Because, like, you know what it is? The movie, it has two problems. One, it has too many unnecessary subplots. Like, the whole thing, like, the girlfriend shouldn't have been in the movie. Because, like, T'Challa has too many, like female characters in his life he has his mom he has his girlfriend he has his sister. main guard he has his sister like there are all like these... a lot of feminism there i, I was good the but guards. like it, it was just a little too many people to keep track of you know like i feel like the girlfriend was super unnecessary she had nothing i think the beginning part was it was cool was in... and, and then at the end there were also she uh it, i thought it was just kind of predictable you know like when Tatala gets thrown off the the, the waterfall and like, survive you know he's gonna survive I mean, oh yeah they, a superhero yeah they killed t'challa in the middle of the movie yeah right like it was just a little pre uh, predictable. A lot of yeah, can we not talk about Black like, Panther dying but, after? Uh, oh yeah, uh, Chadwick uh, Boseman. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, yeah, man. I love oh, him. I five wanted, wait, are you still, still like? Are you still to, um contemplate like who are you picking? Samuel L. Jackson or Leonardo <gasps> DiCaprio? Oh, how did we get there? You are still on. You said <laughs> I'm ra I ramble. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, like, still, but I wanted to Black say one more thing about Black Panther though. I don't think like I, my problem with the movie was the accents. It was horrible because as an African person, I can tell when it's fake, and it was just horrible. Like there were so many accents from different countries. So In, like, like one place. Yeah, so it's like Wakanda. Are you guys even united, or like are is it people yeah, from I other could, places? I could tell. Is it like America? Like, like thank like, you because that's, a, that's what how I felt. Like like I don't know, um, Killamonger's father, his accent was just. 
You can't even. Okay, so who are you picking? Yo, yeah. He's I'm going a, Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm going to go Leo. You know me. I'm going to go so Leo. What took you so long? Right, oh, Brad, I, I took me a little bit to guess. Okay. Brad, I don't Pitt, know. Brad Pitt or Leonardo DiCaprio. Come on. This is hard. I, they were both in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. They were both in what? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Okay. Like, personally, I like. I think Brad Pitt is better. Personally. But I'm still going to have to go with Leo over okay, a last actor. I don't like Brad Pitt. Okay, so I like Leonardo Brad Pitt, man. He's so good, man. He's so Tom Cruise. I, I like Tom Cruise I've never too. Seen, I know his face, but I've never seen him in any movies that I've But I'm like Tom Cruise, before. I mean, I can't again morally. He's a Scientologist, man. I just don't respect Scientologists. So what is, what is the Scientologist? They're uh, they believe in science. <laughs> not science. <laughs> it's so science. It's cyan, which oh. It, oh. it's basically like Christianity except for rich people. Like you have to pay to get in, and the more money you pay, it's super corrupt. That, honestly, that that's um, the it, story it, for and, and day. they're they're kind of like a cult. They like indoctrinate it's people. It's literally a cult. They indoctrinate yeah. people when when you leave. Like none of the like so for example, if your whole family Scientologist and you leave, none of your family can talk to you. It's kind of like Jehovah's Witness. Oh, I see. I've heard of that. I've heard. I saw like a. I was watching a video about that. Yeah, it, it's kind of messed up. I remember so weird. there was this girl from uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, she played uh, Tara, and I remember she's a Scientologist, and she's cool. But like, I remember she was saying that, or, or it was going around that like she stopped speaking to her dad because her dad like stopped being a Scientologist, and she just straight stopped talking to him out of nowhere. Yes. And it's like that's just messed up, like stuff like that. It's it's very like I don't know, but like I love Tom Cruise though, even though his his religion is weird to be honest. What but... is something that's Sorry, though. What? <laughs> I'm trying to say TikTok thing. Oh. <laughs> As I stopped myself. Okay, did you pick Leo? I'm gonna pick Leo, yeah. What do you I'm on Samuel. I don't know what y'all. We doing. already skipped. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're on Samuel, whatever. <laughs> Alright, Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man. Oh my god, I, I like him, but he literally has only done Iron Man. So, to like. Be honest. I've seen him in Iron Man and, like, Iron every, Man everything two. else. Avengers. Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. <laughs> The um, Avengers, like Spider Man, like for like eight minutes. Okay, so he died in Endgame. So you're picking, you're still on the black guy. Yeah, and yeah. you. I'm still Leo. Leo. He's okay. only, yeah, he's only. This one Iron Man. super underrated but overrated. I know, I know you guys' answer already. Viola Davis. No, Robin Williams. Great actor. Everyone hates her for some reason. Wait, the one that died? Because I saw him, and people were talking about him, Family Guy. They're like, oh no, I don't want that role. Whatever. Yeah, he died. Um, I think I think Wasn't it was in twenty seventeen. He was in R V, he was in um I forgot he was like in a lot of movies for uh, like Good Will Hunting. Yeah. Aladdin. He was the genie. Oh mm, okay. That's why I wanted to be when we were doing that play, I really wanted to be the genie because I, I like Robin Williams. They I gave it to some little kid, bro. Yeah, they gave it to some kid. Remember we were in we were oh, in, we were in, we a were play in the thing together. We were in a play together. Like I forget that. Yo, we yeah. have a re- I I wish I could show you. We had a really awkward dance number. I did not like I have it. the video. I had to lift him up. I'm gonna put it in the end of the <laughs> <laughs> It's like that embarrassing. I was it like, is embarrassing. But like it was fun though. I actually like Are you here. sticking with the black guy? I'm sticking with the black guy. Are you sticking with Leo? Uh yeah, I'm sticking yeah. with Leo. Mm. Okay, Viola oh Davis. God. He's black. <clears throat> Oh, the, I just hate her, that show she was Yo, like, this glare is like... How to get away with murder. Yeah. How to get away with murder. I hate murder. that show. It was, I think it was good, but... Actually, the, they, people said she has the worst crime in she television. Was, like, that whole show was dragging. It too. I didn't finish watching. I was watching so you're, you're sticking with the black guy? I'm sticking with the black guy. You're sticking with Leo? Sticking with Leo. I don't even know who that white is. people. Racist. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Natalie Portman. If I know who she, she is. She sucks. She sucks. No. I, I think the I only, her one thing. The only thing was I remember in? her in was she was the crappy girlfriend in Thor that they threw away after the second movie. Yo, thank you. Where did she go? I was so confused. So, Jay. What? That was her name? I forget her name. Okay. She was so, so forgettable. Are you saying you're a Marvel once, fan? And then, the, but once they took her out, it was so much better. The third movie is the best one because it doesn't have her. Okay, Sarah Paulson. The third movie. Or Ragnarok. Sarah. <laughs> or or the black guy. I'm, I'm, Leo. I'm the, the black guy. Black. Wait, wait, who was it? So uh, was I Leo. don't watch your stuff. Uh, this, this is gonna be sticking with Leo the whole time. Just the let's rock. Just, let's just quick through them. Leo. Let's black just speed it, speed it. Jesse Eisenberg. Who? I love him, but Jesse Eisenberg he's so like the Social Network. Uh, was a great movie. Who? What? Uh Batman v Superman, but he wasn't good in that. I did not watch Batman. Now you see me. 
He wasn't mm-hmm. that good in that either. Yes, he bro, the he second not, one. He was okay. Agree, he plays like the same character. He did every not time, watch though. that. He Ever. Like, he's like, it's like you know, um, Matthew Gray Goobler. Mm. I don't know. And that's like him. He's what like kind him. of name? Wait, wait Matthew wait. Gray Goobler. 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 Is like I'm a goofy Goobler. Yeah. <laughs> you mean Goober? Don't Goobler. ever. Goofy Goober. Disrespects. All right, this is that. movies now. Movies oh, now. Okay. So you you think Leo's the best out of everyone? I said you said Samuel Jackson, even though you don't know who he is. <laughs> I know who he, Sam, I know who Samuel Jackson is. All right, back. My all, right hurts. all right, movies. Moonlight or Parasite. I didn't, watch, I didn't watch Parasite. That's so movie. you're saying Moonlight, yeah. They're very different movies. Yep. You know, Parasite is about is about rich versus poor dynamics. Part. Parasite's about rich versus poor dynamic, but Moonlight is about um, gayness in the black community. So yeah. they're very different movies. I don't know why you compared them to. I'm sorry, I just put movies. Because they're, they're both, uh, they both won Best Picture. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But I think for me, it was when, remember when, when they accidentally said it was La La Land? And they're like, guys, no, Moonlight. No, it was Moonlight. Hmm, racist people. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think I relate to Moonlight better because okay. it, it takes place in Miami, man. Like I have to. Oh, I thought it was because you're black. Right. Okay, I'm so. Like, oh yeah, I'm black. Yeah, Moon- totally. Seen like one eighth. <laughs> Moon- I, I know, but my skin. Moonlight or like any Avengers movie. Like, I don't want to say all. I don't want to say over that, man. I mean, I love. I love. I'm I, saying I don't like over that. that. I'm going with Avengers. What is wrong with you people? Oh, wow. All right, the shining. I don't or know what that is. it's like here's Johnny. Oh, The Shining. That's a cool movie. I like Stanley Kubrick, but I still I still love Moonlight. I'm going with Avengers. I love right. Stanley Kubrick though. Black Panther, any Avengers movie? Bro, it's the same like... thing. Okay, yeah, you're right. We can just keep comparing them. Let's just go down the list and I right. compare what are, what's there. Matrix. The Matrix versus that. what? Um, whatever you said. I think it was Moonlight, and Moonlight? you said Avengers. The, 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 the Matrix is overrated. I like it, but um, so Star Wars. Moonlight. I never Star Wars, it. I never, I, I don't know. It's just like something about it. Like I feel like it's a great, great thing. These are amazing movies. It's I okay, but I just can't. They're, the one thing I would never. They're watch. overrated. Like mm-hmm. they're good, but they're not like the greatest things ever made. Yeah. They're good because of the time they came out. They came out in 1977. Oh, oh the Father. Sorry. <laughs> that, that's. I don't think that's what he said. Oh, like, may the fourth be with you. That's the only part. <laughs> they didn't even say, <laughs> didn't that, in say the movie. that. I know, but it seems like the the, the yeah. thing. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. All right, like, Rocky. The Rocky movies, or whatever you said last. Jelly Ice is gonna kill me for this because she loves that movie. Rocky? She loves Rocky so Let's much. Let's hope she doesn't watch this. She might because I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still going with movie. <clears throat> what did you say? Avengers. I don't know. Why'd you, why'd you start clearing your throat? <laughs> As if she wouldn't watch it for me. The Social Network, I didn't or watch that either. The Social <laughs> Network, or whatever I, you guys said. No, that's hard because I really like the Social Network. I would say the Social. Like, you should watch so it. Bro, you I just have to give me a list of movies to watch. Because, like, I don't now I gave feel... you a list. All right. <laughs> no, that was like, wait, what did Disney? you say? I'm going to have to go with the social network, actually. Oh, what did you say? Avengers. I don't know what the social okay. network is. Toy Story or Avengers. Sorry. Toy Story or the social network? Those are like polar opposites. I know, but, like, I don't know. The fourth movie. Uh, no. Yeah, my fourth I, movie I, was good. Yeah, it was really no. good. The f- you have to watch it, it again. Than the third. I watched, watch it again. I watched watch it, it again. It's the than first the time I watched it, I fell asleep because it was so boring. Yeah, me too. It but I then the it. second time I watched, okay, yeah, Woody leaves. Okay, what it am was, I supposed it to? It was okay, better than the third movie. Like, but which one was the third movie though? When they go, what the what? Oh, how do you have such strong opinions on a franchise you do not know? No, no, no. I don't think you understand. Like, I can't remember everything that happens. Like, I feel like the best movie I think was. When they when the fire the fire part the, the one with the bear yeah that's okay. the third one that's the third, that's the third one. one yeah oh right. <laughs> what did you say you said the social so network the sec- yeah and what did you say how is that the third one can you just pick <laughs> like we need to just go through this and go to the next oh, all right sorry. back to the future I, I saw Back to the Future recently actually it was on Netflix they just took it off yeah yes damn I only I saw the up. first two I didn't get to see the third one but uh, I'm still going to Social Network what about you E T never watched. Yep. It was on Netflix. You should have watched it. They got they took it down already. Yeah. Oh, well. They took down all the good movies, man. No. The good movies are only there for like a month. And and then you get all the crappy movies that are always there clocking out the freaking <laughs> the feed. It'd be like so trash. Alright, what'd you say? Okay. Home Alone. Avengers. Social Avengers. Network. Alright, Finding Nemo. Social Avengers. Network. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do with Finding Nemo? New Jack City. I didn't watch that. What even is that? It's like uh, it's hard to explain. It's like just like a gang drug movie. 
Yeah. It takes place in New York. Gang drug movie that New York. That's like ten movies. I don't. It's ten movies. That's like ten different movies. It's like a black. It's black. That's still so, like so six I'm movies. Go watch it. That's still six movies. Yeah, okay, Friday. Eight in full. Like that. that yeah, you could, yeah, you but, could... yeah, but like, bro, it's like, it's like undercover cops. Like they try to like figure out what's going on. You know, the guy, the leader, gets super paranoid, kills all his friends. He gets arrested. What? He gets arrested, he but he doesn't. Friends. He doesn't go to prison because they couldn't find him guilty of anything. Then when he leaves, like the courthouse, he gets shot and dies. How so dramatic! Like, like he just falls. Like he, like he gets shot and then falls down the stairs. All right, Friday. Social network. Boys in the hood. Social network. I didn't. You started off too strong, man. Like. <laughs> um. Yeah, Avengers. Sorry. Coming to America. I don't even know Avengers. what that is. Oh, racist! Oh, oh, racist! Oh, oh, I know you did not say that. Like I know that? I don't watch movies. But Why did you just have a panic attack? Because you oh, didn't watch Coming oh, to America. It sounds like an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, parents are watching. Parents are watching. Wait, okay. So you said you guys kept the same answers. Yep. Avengers. Okay, Mean Girls. Avengers. Same. Bro, Who cool. is trash? Same. Trash. White chicks. Trash. The Breakfast Club. Never no, hey, go back. I was gonna pick White Chicks. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> serious? No. I was about to say. The Breakfast Club is so good. Sorry, I have to pick The Breakfast Club over the social network. It's okay. Set it off. If you haven't watched that, you are not that. black. I have I not watched seen that. that. What is it? Like, Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. Rita Pickett Smith, <laughs> Kimberly, Wait, Elise. Is it, is it, is it the movie where they make the money? Or no, I... no, that's Mad Money. Oh, that's okay. not it. But yeah, is this I forgot the last Amazing one. Black Woman. Queen Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you don't think Queen Latifah's good? No. Yeah. All right, all right. Queen Latifah's Queen Latifah. <laughs> I think that's her. Yeah, it was Queen Latifah. Okay. Wait. She, yeah, it was Queen. She don't know. It was because yeah. I. Yeah, it was. Cause, cause she played like she played like a different role than what she normally does. All right. So Training Day. I didn't watch that. Um, social network. I do like training day. Yeah. Okay, that's all I had for today, folks. Yeah, we, that <laughs> game lasted a long time. I know, because you guys just, oh, so, like, this movie is, like, so, like, bro, I was like, okay, just pick one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you have to talk about it. You don't need to. You don't How need long have we even been going now? I don't even know, but, <laughs> um, probably, like, an hour and ten minutes. Um, wow. This is going right. to be a long cast. I know, okay, but if I also want to bring up the conspiracy theory about the same covers that people do it's they also do it like like there is they um so they go to like a movie right that's like did very very well right and like a movie would like copy their same cover so when you look at that movie you think of like the good movie so you want to watch it like you know like forrest gump and ghost ghost copied the cover of forrest gump so like when you look at ghost you think of forrest gump and you want to watch it i mean a lot of every every kind of like decade has more like like they have that one cover that we copy. So, like, for example, like, in the 80s, like, most movies had a very similar cover. It was, like, a drawn cover. You know what I mean? In, in the 2000s, it annoys me. Tell me if this sounds familiar. A comedy movie with all the characters standing in a line and a red title. That, like, yeah. literally, when you think of that, you can already imagine, like, a bunch of comedy movies. Yeah, yeah. There's also one, like, the headless woman. Like, you know, like, where it's just, like, a woman's legs or just their, their body with no head. Yeah. Like the all the hot tub movies. Nowadays nowadays the trend is like is like copied Marvel with like all the characters in like a collage. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it's just like yeah, like go um Thor copied like Thor and Iron Man are like super similar. Yeah, and nowadays a lot of people are just doing what Marvel doing. Thor but, and but, Iron Man? But to be fair, yeah. like the covers. Like the, oh, the, the, covers. the covers. posters. I don't know. But to be fair, they Excuse me. They are very. It's it's a very pleasing thing to look at, but it's kind of annoying how. Yeah, because they're trying to do like sex cells. They oh. even do it in kids' movies, like what? the Minions. What about oh. the Minions? Like Dude. they do the headless woman, so it's like you know, like the three main Minions, like Kevin Stewart, whatever, mm -hmm. and it's them three, and it's like the you know the evil villain is like the girl. Mm -hmm. It's just her legs. It's just literally her legs on the side. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought it was like minion legs. No, because other people be like, yo, you'd be surprised at how many people have a minion fetish. <laughs> bro, it's just her legs and like her gun. Nah, bro. Minion legs would have so Even big. Wonder Woman. Even Wonder Woman doesn't even show her face, even though it's like a. Um, like the main character is a woman. You guys are talking about the posters. Yes. Okay. I'm How, like, what what else? What else? I'm, 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 I'm sitting here lost. so confused. I'm like, 
Huh? Yeah, they just but, do it and it's so weird. Yeah, but I know what you mean. Every decade has a different um, style of poster that everyone just copies. And right now it's it's very either Headless Woman or like the collage thing that Marvel has been doing. It's very similar. Yeah. My least favorite was in the mid-2000s. Every comedy movie had the same freaking poster. Yeah. Literally it. Like even movies like I like, like Superbad. Superbad has the most like, boring poster. It's just, yeah. it's just the three characters standing. And yeah. then it's super bad. At least the title isn't just completely. It's like it's like American Pie. They have like the red title. Yeah, I think they're all. The co- yeah, it was probably it probably came from that with the red title thing and all the characters just standing in a line. It's yeah. so boring. Or like they, they do something a little different. Like I, I think of like you ever seen like the Wedding Ringer? Yeah. I think of that one. That was so bad. I think of that one because like, like it's a title. little different, but it's still like they're all standing in line. Cause you get like Kevin Hart, you get that dude from Frozen, you get the girl, but yeah, like the dude is like a little messed yeah, up. You know, but it's like it's it, they all look the same. It's 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 really boring. Mm-hmm. But um, actually, I have a thing I want to talk about. Actually, to like uh-huh. turn a little bit because like I said I was gonna talk about this and I forgot okay. about my movie. Oh, yeah. Yep. Follow yeah. my Insta for more info. Um, <laughs> yeah, just talk about your movie. Because what happened was we had a major setback. Yeah. So and by we I mean me because it's it's kind of a one man project. Mm-hmm. But I, I right now uh, I'm just talking to people, and I was in that process. I, um, pretty early on, um, I attended a meeting, um, and the meeting was with this guy that I really wanted him in my movie. He was the former assistant district attorney of Boston. And I'm like, oh, that was perfect. I, I, and, I, and I went over there. I talked to him. I asked him some questions about how art can be used as a format to um, express issues of social justice. He gave me a great answer, and I and I, and I put him I put in the chat because it was a Zoom thing. I'm like, hey, I'd love it if you can be in my movie. He's like, yeah, contact me for more. And then you know we started talking, and he seemed on board, right? And, and that was really good because like, dude, that's he was gonna be like a big part of it because I really respected him as a person personally. Mm-hmm. And uh, his name is uh, Adam Foss, and right, I respect him. But then lately, I'm like, the emails have like slowed down, and I haven't gotten an email for him at this point in like a month. So I'm like, what is happening? So I remember at my film school, I, I still go to my film school, it's just on Zoom. But I remember the guy who runs my group, he called me. He's like, hey, what's going on with the movie? I'm like, yeah, right now it's just a little difficult. It's the new year, so people are, are being really slow to answer my things. And I'm trying to get Adam Foss, but uh, he's not really responding. He also has a company, Prosecutor Impact. I'm not sure if I should say that name. But whatever, he has a company, and I was trying to get them on too, because they're all prosecutors, like yeah. black prosecutors. Mm-hmm. Like that would be really cool. Yeah. And he's like, um, I don't think Adam Foss is gonna work anymore. I'm like, well, what's wrong? This dude, this freaking guy, Adam Foss. <laughs> what do he do? <laughs> he got accused, not even of sexual assault. This dude got accused of rape, oh. straight rape, capital R. And, and you know who called him out on this? You know who, like, got this, like... Because he was accused, but then you know who brought it to the spotlight? Freaking John Legend. John oh, Legend. Wow. I, I, I have the tweet somewhere where he was like, I'm sorry to any of the women, multiple women, that Adam Foss has hurt. And I heard that, and I was cheesed. I was so mad. I'm like, bro, we were so close to... F- I mean, luckily, I didn't film anything with him yet. But I'm like, bro, I, it's just accusations. Yeah, but, like, the like stuff this. that I read was, like, if this is true, this is horrific. Because yeah. I read some stuff. I read one of the women's, um, um, her experience. Yeah. And, like, it was some nasty stuff. And it's like, bro, I literally cannot have him on anymore. There's no way I can have Damn. him on. Damn. So that's like, that's, that's like, it's like, oh, like, maybe I got COVID, you know. I can't do this anymore, I'm no, sorry. No, he got accused. Like, you literally went from point A to point D. <laughs> like, he got accused of, by John Legend. Bro. Like, bro, you know how people love John Legend? I, I can't, no, I can't have him on anymore. And that yeah. sucks, dude. I am boss, if you're watching this, bro, like, you really, you Rest really. Messed up everything. You, like, bro, screwed you up. That? You sent me back, like, two months, bro. But, oh, like. You're focused on yourself. What about the victims over here? <laughs> yeah, like, bro, yo. I know. I mean, to be fair, like, my, my movie and step back a little bit is the least of the issues. Because, again, yeah, if that stuff is true, I don't mess like, shit, bro. bro, he was saying some... I, I can't say it on the podcast. I'm not but saying like, it. But, like, he... Ugh, it makes my skin crawl. I even respected this guy. I thought you were going to talk... Okay. So, I thought... Yeah. Wait, what were you going to say? No, I thought you were going to describe 
your movie. He did in the beginning. No, he said um, bring if you know anybody that does this. this oh this. yeah, his what? movie is something about the criminal, criminal justice system. system, which I wish I could be in. But it's okay. But like, I'm gonna be like, interviewing like common people too. So it, we're, oh, we're I'm common. common. Wow. I mean, you're you're a student, you know. So like, I'll, I'll be. I'm, don't call me common. I'm a student then. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like people who like aren't experts. I mean, you know what you're talking about, but like, but, like have you, know. like don't really have experience. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, but um, again, I just want to interview some like just some people. I got some. But yeah, again, tell this us is people up there. This is um, this is not gonna come out anytime soon. Again, I, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Things are very hard right now. I expect to for this to come out maybe earliest, like spring earliest, but um, but don't don't quote me on that. But uh, again, this is gonna be a really cool documentary. Um, if you it's gonna be on Netflix, Hulu. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) actually, once it comes out, man, I I I am gonna I am gonna submit it to film festivals. um, Oh. But um, actually, I'm I'm pretty much I have pretty much a guaranteed spot in the film festivals. Okay. Because uh. My my film school has a really good relationship He's with these confident. people. He's confident. That's what we like to see. And if I can get this on Netflix or something, I mean, you can get anything on can Netflix get, nowadays. Can you get money for that? Hopefully. Hopefully. Like, <laughs> they, they give anybody something yeah, these but, days. They exactly. Really exactly. But like, you know, the point of this isn't to make money. The point of this, it's it's mainly a personal piece. Because I think what sets my documentary apart from others is that I'm coming into this with a relatively neutral perspective because I like to, I don't like to sit on the fence, but I understand, again, this was inspired by, um, or I guess I said this to you guys, but I didn't say it here, where these, the documentary was inspired by um, the George Floyd protests, yeah. and I heard so much conflicting information. I heard some people say that the police are overfunded, and then some people are saying they're underfunded, you know what I mean? And yeah, I do, I do I have- I really want to be in it now, because I have a piece to say. I'm sorry to interrupt, I have, continue. I do have my own preference, like, I, 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 you know, but like- I do believe that police officers are human beings, and I would just like yeah. to more get into the mind of, like, how someone can go through this job, you know, mm-hmm. and, and what goes through their head, you know, what, what, who are the police officers, you know, who are the people who protect us, you know, because that's very important, and I, 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 I believe that it's an important step to start building that relationship now, and I think this movie especially will, will it will be a good it will be a good first step because i truly believe that especially with all this like i really want to make a good relationship with the with our police department because um i don't want to end up in any unfortunate situations i feel like if i'm relatively well known like oh that's that kid that made that documentary about us hopefully nothing bad will happen to me because i genuinely do respect a lot of officers it's just you know it, it's just some unfortunate things that happen you know what i mean there's some horrible stuff People do bad things and they don't get consequences. It's unfortunate, but that doesn't mean that every single person who's behind the badge is a bad person. It's just they're part of a system that necessary that doesn't necessarily help out the people who really need it. But um, yeah, I, I yeah, I, I'm excited about making this. I'm still gonna make it. I really want to make it. By the time, I want to make it by next year. You know, by next year it's gonna be done, and I, I can promise that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But again, we just had some setbacks. It was really unfortunate what happened with Adam Foss. Um, that's that, not unfortunate if it's it, true. <sighs> that, that, it, it just really sucked, man. And, I'm and happy I, it came out, though. I'm least. happy it came out, man. But like that really sucked. And I, I'm especially happy looking back. I'm happy I never filmed anything with him. And it would have been even. Would you have to delete it though? I would have to. There well, no, there's no, there's no way like you can. Or not the delete, but, but I can't put that in the movie. You know. You but. Like, his like, information's what if, valid, but the what, type of person, like, you can't associate like, what if you say, like, say he made it, like, you already filmed everything with this man. Like, would you have to delete it because you already, like, before the accusations came out, though? I might not delete it, but, I, but I'm not putting it in the movie. Because the whole point of him being there is that he's a credible person. And now, with the things that he's done, he does, he's not moral. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know how in, like, it's like in, what we learn in, like, social studies, you know? Like, mm-hmm. is this source credible? Mm-hmm. And if they've done yeah. bad things, like, it makes them less credible. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, he's done, he's allegedly done some horrible things. So, like, even allegedly, like, that makes my movie look way less, uh, like, unprofessional. Or more unprofessional, you know what I mean? So, I just, I can't have him on there. That's yeah. effed up. But, uh, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting some, I'm getting some good people in here. It just, I, I'll find someone to replace him. In fact, I'll find three people. Like, I, I'm, uh, but I will say, man, when I heard that, 
I might have punched a hole in my wall. I got really mad. I didn't punch a hole in my wall, but like I, I, I got mad. <laughs> you did. I'm not starving enough to do that. I left a little knuckle sized dent. <laughs> but like I was, I was mad because I really, because I looked up to him too. That really sucks. Aww. Damn, that's so that's, that's so what sad. R. Kelly, it's like you know, I, I never his, looked up. Nah, I, know, I never looked good. up to him. I just loved his music. And it's just sad that I had come on. Uh, yeah, I thought this guy was such an intelligent like. I only know some only like one, only one. Calm down. Never but the man was a midget. I I watched that whole thing with Ozzy recently. That was so good. I know. Like, did you? Oh my god. Where is, wait, wait, wait. Where is he? Is he in the house? Okay. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys tune in to our previous videos and videos we come that are coming up soon. Um, like I said again, this is Yaskar, special guest. Um, this is Kidalu. Yeah, future um, new castmate. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh Follow all of our socials and Yaskars yeah. and Yaskars socials. You, if you want me back on, comment. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> also, our Spotify in the link in the description. Please go check it out over there. Follow us. And anybody have anything else to say before we, got we close? Merch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, hashtag Yaskar new podcast mate uh, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> also. Um, <laughs> What was I gonna say? I was gonna say, um... Stay safe. Yeah, oh yeah, for real. Like, everyone, please put on your mask. This COVID thing is not a joke. Like, please, there's people literally dying. Like, for like, I know you guys think, oh, I got COVID once, I didn't even die, like, I was I was okay. Like, please, there's other people that, are, that have underlying conditions that are not, like, as strong as you guys. So please just put on your mask. Like, for the bare minimum, just go outside. If you're gonna go outside, please put on a mask. It's not that hard. Good point. Yeah, like the Oscar <laughs> over there. He's showing a great depiction of what you should look like when you step outside. Right. Please. And not only that, like, no. There's different variations of the COVID. So, like, it would, it gets worse and you don't you don't know, like, the symptoms. So, like, yeah. you and don't. Also, yeah. wear a real mask. No bandana. No yeah. silk. Scarf? If I see, wear that. No parties. And again, you should. I'm a credible source. No parties. Yeah. That's how I caught COVID like a month ago, yeah, and no it, was, it was the worst thing ooh, ooh, I've ever ooh. gone through. Mm. Exactly. So when they were telling you not to go to parties, you weren't listening. No, my family. They, they invited oh, me. It, it was a family. They, bro, it, no, to be honest, it's not even like the protests that make you have COVID. It's the family functions, like people going to people's houses, is what giving like the amount of people exactly, that have COVID. So, yeah. so stay, stay at home. home. Don't bring people to your house. And, uh, Don't. <laughs> <laughs> we, we take a COVID oh. test every week, guys. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh my God, I think that's it. Yep, that's yeah. it. Check you guys later. Bow.